Okay, I got a total meowy cat back here. Yeah, meowy cat, you smell something good. This is from a comfy belly recipe on how to make your own homemade um, beef jerky. Now mine's without soy, corn, or gluten, obviously, because I'm a celiac and I gotta have a kitty in here. Hi, kitty. Mwah. Okay, look at the beef. Yum, 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 yum. Is that what you're smelling? Okay, so we start out with thin sliced sirloin cut beef. And then I marinate it overnight with the recipe from comfybelly.com. And you'll see the whole listing there. But I added, instead of putting, you know, something that was more hot in it, that, you know, like if you wanted to really spice it up, I'm using fresh sriracha, so green sriracha. Just give it a little bit of a kick there, not too much. You can also add Cabernet if you like, um, and probably use that instead of the apple cider to help um, basically soften the meat a little bit. Marinate that overnight. So I get two pounds of it, stick it in a bag, put all the ingredients in there, mush it all together, and then let it sit overnight. And then it's been in a dehydrator here, and it looks like we're almost done. Like just maybe another hour or two there. And then you set it here. And I have it on 140 degrees there. It's been cooking um, for about five hours now. So maybe another hour and a half, two hours tops. And it should be done. Yum, 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 yum. So those are my snacks that have been helping me as a celiac actually keep some weight on because I have a difficult time actually putting it on weight. Now you're probably wondering, well, wait a minute, I heard that truly gluten-free food actually can make you put more weight on. And that's true if you eat all the crap that other people are making. When you cook your own gluten-free food at home, you don't put uh, the crap in it. And I don't eat a lot of sugar or desserts or like things that I would consider a treat because they're not very healthy for you. I mean, you're gonna eat gluten-free, be healthy. So when you remove things like all the excess salt from soy sauce or the gluten part and you remove corn or xanthan gum or uh, maltodextrin, things that are found in a lot of commercial foods, you get a much healthier snack, but it has a lot less calories overall. So when I eat till I'm satisfied, I actually find that I lose weight. I have to eat until I'm more like past satisfied to actually gain weight on this celiac specific diet. So that's my take. I am the triathlete newbie. Have a ball.